Cerebral placenta ratio is low and associated with proteinuria in hypertensive pregnancies. Presented by Dr. Flagey, OA. Hypertensive disorders are the most common medical problem encountered in pregnancy and it is a leading cause of perinatal and maternal morbidity and mortality in developing countries. Utero placenta insufficiency is a major fetal complication associated with hypertensive pregnancies. Doppler evaluation is a non-invasive tool for monitoring fetuses for early detection of fetal compromise. Cerebral placenta ratio is the ratio of the resistivity indices of the umbilical arteries compared to that of the middle cerebral arteries, which is normally expected to be greater than one. This study aimed at comparing the cerebral placenta ratio in hypertensive pregnancies with and without tenuria. There were 150 consenting pregnant mothers with gestational ages between 20 and 40 weeks. There were 75 hypertensives with equal number of control participants. The hypertensives were divided into those with proteinuria and those without proteinuria after they underwent urinalysis. All the patients had their blood pressure done, urina urinalysis, basic obstetry scan for fetal biometry, and Doppler scan was done to determine the fetal umbilical and middle cerebral artery resistivity indices. One hundred and fifty pregnant women comprising seventy five controls. The hypertensives were further divided into 47 with without proteinuria and 28 with proteinuria. The parameters measured were the umbilical artery restivity index, middle cerebral artery restivity index, and the cerebral placenta ratio. Figure 1 shows the distribution of the hypertensives. The blue represents the 28 proteinuric hypertensives, while the orange represents the 47 hypertensives without protein. Table 1 shows that there is significantly lower umbilical artery, higher, there is significantly higher umbilical artery resistivity index in the hypertensives than the controls 0 0.66 and 0 0.63. The middle cerebral artery resistivity index was also lower in was lower in the fetuses of the hypertensives compared to the control with a p value of 0.001. The CPR cerebral Placenta ratio 
was lower in the hypertensives compared to the control, the p-value of 0.001. This table is comparing the hypertensives with and without proteinuria. Umbilical artery resistivity index is higher in the proteinuric hypertensives than the hypertensives without proteinuria with a p-value, the significant p-value of 0 0.001 and the middle cerebral artery resistivity index was lower in the proteinuric compared to the non-proteinuric hypertensive mothers. This is, however, not significant. The CPR is significantly in the proteinuric than the hypertensives without protein. This table, this table shows that CPR less than one is strongly associated with proteinuria as the normal CPR is supposed to be greater than one. In patients with without proteinuria in the hypertensives without proteinuria only two patients had a cpr of less or equal to one but in the hypertensives with proteinuria 14 patients 87.5 percent had CPR less or equal to one. In the normal, in hypertensives with normal, normal protein, 45 of the patients, representing 76.3 percent, had CPR greater than one, which is the expected. But in patients with proteinuria, 14 of them had CPR greater than 1. This shows that CPR less than 1 is strongly associated with proteinuria. In conclusion, this study has shown that increase fetal umbilical artery resistivity index and reduced middle cerebral artery resistivity index are associated with maternal hypertension in pregnancy. It also showed that CPR is lower in fetuses of hypertensive pregnant women and is also significantly associated with proteinuria. Thank you.